Uh, abstract brainwaves, game genie in the beanie We ain't on the same stage, leveled up uh, The epitome of technique, can't survive in my current thought Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video And Niantic has a new game No, not Harry Potter No, we've already played Pikmin Bloom We're still playing that by the way But if you saw my Pokemon Go video Or maybe you saw this before it, depending on how I uploaded it you would know that there's a game called Perido, okay? Well, I didn't really tell that in that video, but that's what it's called. Uh, it was quietly announced as far as I know, or maybe I was just out of the loop because I'm playing so many different other things, but uh, the thing here is that you have to understand is Niantic has long wanted to have their own game similar to Pokemon Go, because you know, you're like, hey, there's Ingress. Yes, there's always been Ingress, but Ingress, um, it doesn't have the same appeal that Pokemon does, right? Furry little animals, little creatures that you can kind of have as pets and maybe have some kind of competitive aspect to it. Ingress doesn't have that. Ingress is more of a geocaching type thing. Uh, and it's its its own thing, right? But the charm, the, the, the obvious thing here is that without having a fully completed playable game, really, Niantic was able to put out Pokemon Go and make millions upon millions of dollars, right? And we stuck with it because we were fans of the Pokemon franchise. The things that we like about Pokemon that they attempted to translate over to Pokemon Go, for the most part, I would say it worked because, you know, even though it's not as popular as it was in its heyday, many of us, myself included, still play to this day. So what Niantic needs is to find a way to keep itself sustainable without having to always pay licensing fees to Pokemon Company, right? They're having to do that. Um, for So for each of these, you know, Jesse and James, why are they not permanent fixtures in the game? There's a licensing fee, probably. Uh, they probably paid for a Pikachu licensing fee, so I imagine that's why we have Pikachus with all these different hats and crap like that, instead of the actual variation that we probably desire. All right? But I can only speak for myself there. So what we're going to do here is um, pull up this Niantic video here. I'm not sure how I can screen grab it. I'm going to try to do it. Uh, I'm going to try to do it this way so that we are not seeing uh, other stuff in the background. So uh, let me let me try to record it this way if I can and flip my camera over okay so here is their their thing here so we're just watching this together i may have to mute the sound of this recording so that you don't hear it twice with me but uh yeah this looks cool so it, I heard it described as some kind of like Tamagotchi thing. They haven't really showed any kind of gameplay, but Perido, always by your side, pre-register today. Okay, so there is all of that, and we'll stop the recording there. And what we want to pull up right after that is their website, okay? So playperido.com. That's really the meat and potatoes because that nice flashy trailer the graphics looked really good. Um, I'm not sure what kind of phone is going to be the requirement to have that. What kind of, you know, how often they'll update that. Because they're juggling three games again. Uh, we've seen them juggle Ingress, Pokemon Go, and then uh, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And that didn't end too well. So they got rid of Wizards Unite. And it's crazy because Harry Potter is a very massive franchise. But for whatever reason, that didn't latch on the way it needed to and i honestly didn't know anyone playing it uh, a year after it debuted and well they they ended it pikmin bloom on the other hand uh it's a nintendo license so we'll see what happens there it's it's really just a video game uh there was there was too much to do in harry potter to catch on and there's really not enough to do in pikmin pikmin if we're being honest is super casual super laid back you're just kind of walking around but and I hate to keep comparing these games without talking about Perido because we don't know a whole lot about Perido. But what we do know, we'll get into right here. So, um, 
he just got the Niantic logo and everything that's there. Let's go all the way back up because evidently I went all the way to the bottom of this already. So you can see here, you have this young lady here uh, outside by some lake and you've got the Peridot. So it looks like some kind of pet. Discover the fantastical world of Peridot, an upcoming real world adventure pet game where you care for one of a kind adorable creatures, raise them to adulthood as you explore the world together and re-diversify their species to protect them from extinction. Okay, so what that means is you're going to have this pet that you can walk around and feed and, uh, you know, go for walks and that's going to probably build a friendship level or something of that nature is what I'm guessing. Uh, you raise them to adulthood, so they start out probably as infants or something and then you, you, you uh, build them all the way up, right? So where they're grown and uh, that begots different stats. So right here in that description doesn't say anything about battling or anything like that. No competitive side to it. So uh, you're probably going to be looking for food or purchasing food in an in-game shop. You know, Niantic is notorious for cutting and pasting. And why not? If something works, why go away from it? There's probably going to be a shop that you could buy food and snacks or some kind of thing to like befriend them, maybe like a, a house for them to live in, you know, little cool stuff like that. And uh, the whole buddy system, I think that was, you know, pretty cool for Niantic to do in Pokemon Go. Even though I don't take advantage of it quite as often, you're kind of forced to if you have certain research that you need to do. But I imagine that's going to translate over here very well, having just that be the focus of this game you know the friendship the companionship and what have you so here's the next line re-diversify their species to protect them from extinction pay attention to that what that means to me is there's going to be like breeding you're, you're going to have to be able to um, mix them up so breeding is something that pokemon go they're lacking in that yet pokemon has that in their games we just haven't been introduced to it yet so uh, maybe by the time this game drops, they'll introduce it, or maybe they want to showcase it off here first and then bring it over there later. Who knows? Um, there's still a little bit uh, left for them to do before they catch up to the main series in Pokemon, so maybe they're probably taking their time, and that's why we've had a slow rollout of the current generation of Pokemon and Pokemon Go. So uh, you can pre-register here to learn more. I've already pre-registered. Maybe it's too late. It would be nice if they reached out to your boy for pre-registering early and let me showcase a little bit of the game early. Niantic, if you're watching, I know you occasionally do. Uh, what's up? Uh, that said, here's some of what these creatures look like. Care for your new magical peridot. I'm saying peridot, but it could be peridot. I haven't heard anyone from Niantic actually say it, so... I think Peridot, I think French or something, some kind of wine, <laughs> but it could be Peridot. Um, satisfy your creature's desires, okay? So that looks like they got some kind of items that you can flick towards them and feed them. And this looks like it's going to be all AR, by the way. I don't see anything that's got like an in-game map where they're following you. It looks like this is all AR where you can go outside. Look at this. There's like plants and stuff that people are at. Maybe they interact with that if they're able to know that those are plants. I don't know. I, I doubt it, but that would be something interesting. But my guess is that you're feeding them, giving them different items, building them up to where they, uh, you know, increase in age and what have you. And that's going to be the premise of this game is you get them to a certain age, to adulthood or whatever, and then you breed them with other peridots, peridots. And uh, then you've got an even newer creature. So maybe there's a limit. You start out with like 50 of them. And this is just me speculating. Start out with maybe 50 of them, and then you can be got like another 50 just off of that, okay? So now it says nurture. Fall in love with your unique virtual pets. Foster your magical peridots, creatures who feel so real. <laughs> You'll simply, there, I'm getting a text here. Simply um, love every moment you spend raising them. Pet, play, feed, and teach them tricks to keep them healthy and help them grow. Okay. Um, adventure together, walk on daily walks, explore new places together, uncover hidden treasures around the world. So you, they cherry pick like, you know, going to like the woods somewhere, walking and being at a park and then going to the beach. Those are going to probably be, you know, the most fun areas you're going to want to be 
uh, playing the game, but at the same time, outside the park, maybe have your phone. I don't know. I guess in the park, I'd have my phone with me, but at the beach, mm -mm. not thinking about Pokemon and Peridot, even though you have seen videos of me doing that. Uh, but it's kind of an afterthought, especially if I'm juggling like two to three different games. I haven't even been to the beach yet to pick out, you know, Pikmin or something like that. So maybe a future video. I don't know. Uh, adventure. Explore the world together during daily adventures. Take your peridots on walks wherever you go and discover new places in your local neighborhood. As you explore together, you'll uncover helpful items to keep your creatures happy and snap photos and videos to track all of your memories together. So that's pretty much the gist of the game right there. You're going to be going on walks, so if you've got a dog and you walk your dog, this is another thing to take out with you to walk. If you don't have a dog, well, hey, here you go. You can act like you have one here. Uh, so you'll probably find these items kind of like in Pikmin Bloom. You find the plants and stuff like that. Pokemon Go, you find other gyms and Pokestops. They'll probably just mask those. Again, cut and paste. We've done the homework for them as players. We've said, hey, this gym here should be, or this should, there should be a gym here, right? Or this church here is a building that you know is a stop and we'll scan that and blah 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 blah. that's our that architecture is already there so they can just reuse that those assets here for that okay so uh here we go breeding breed new generations of peridots discover various peridot archetypes uh, so you can see there there's they've already got it set up where you mix and match what the outcome should be share your discoveries with friends so it looks like they're like hey nintendo Pokemon Company is why there's no communication system, but Peridot is going to have it. It looks like you can talk to them right then and there and share your photos. That's cool. Uh, if only they allowed you to ba battle these things, that would be cool. Maybe they'd say, oh, that's too close to Pokemon, so they're not going to let us do that. No, let us compete with them. It doesn't even have to be like a turn-based like Pokemon. Y'all can mix it up some way, somehow. The, the cool thing is... Uh, Maybe you can trade these things too. Maybe you can trade them to a friend and y'all can communicate through here. It looks like it has an in-game messenger right there. I'm seeing a little bit of text there showing a full-fledged sentence where you can say whatever it is you want right there. So here we go. Band together and collaborate with other players around the world to expand the Perido species. I keep saying Perido. Oh, I'm sorry. Breed your one-of-a-kind creatures and discover the infinite possibilities of peridot archetypes. Some can even resemble your favorite animals like cheetahs, dragons, unicorn, and, and more. Stay up to date. Join the journey. Sign below to stay up to date on the latest news. You know, yeah. So they're going to let you know depending on what country. Uh, I've seen other videos saying, hey, maybe New Zealand or somewhere in Australia gets the experiment first like they do in the other games. We'll see. Uh, no telling when it's going to happen. I'm kind of imagining the summertime. I mean, that's the best time to drop the game, but you know, maybe they drop it in the fall. Who knows? Uh, summertime would be cool for them to do that though. Um, so yeah, that's all that they've got here. When will it become available in your area? It will enter a soft launch and it will initially be available in limited markets for beta testing. Throughout the soft launch period, we'll be testing and inter rating on gameplay experience as we gather feedback from the beta testers okay so i've already registered which email should you use uh, register an email you would like yeah that's why did i receive an error registering my email some devices and the new one okay so none of that we need to know we'll end the recording here but let me know what you guys think are you interested in perido um there's some features there that Clearly, if you played Pokemon Go, you were looking for in that game, and it looks like they're going to give it to you in this, uh, like the in-game messenger that I always, you know, wanted, but I understand why they don't give it, but simple communication features, they should. But uh, that out of the way, we'll see if it's casual enough uh, to juggle that and other games, or if um, maybe instead of playing Pikmin Bloom, we do Pokemon Go and that, or maybe, you know, I finally... Uh, Put down Pokemon Go for uh, the most part and juggle those two games. I don't really know. I, I, I do feel like there's more work. There's a, there's a healthy balance in Pokemon Go. Like you can just be casual and play Pokemon Go, be at a snail's pace, 
and it might take you forever to get to another level, which you're not forced to do either or. There's that FOMO that's there, uh, but you're not forced to do either or. Whereas in Pikmin Bloom, you kind of just go at your own place. If somebody's at level 33, it just means that they walked more than you. Or in my case, their uh, Apple Watch is what's, uh, yeah, I held that up in the Pokemon video instead of the uh, gotcha. Maybe they sell something like this uh, for Perido as well too, like a, a gotcha auto capture device. But either way, back to that. This is what's working to count my steps in Pikmin Bloom. Maybe it's the same deal for Perido where uh, it's got to sync with your health settings. I hope not. I hope it could just be, you know, I like have some kind of adventure sync thing going on for it. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, Pikmin Bloom, you don't have to put too much effort into it. You can go at your own pace. It's all about, you know, you having fun and planting flowers. There's no battles really, you, you know. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what this game does. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you interested in playing? If not, why um, not? And if you are, uh, I'd love to hear from you too. Hopefully we can get into this beta tester program. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Other yellow hat guys out. Captain Sensation.